Hosea 4, 6 says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We are addressing the state of the church of God. And we are saying that there is so much going on out there. We've come to say stop the words of war and let the word of God prevail. Let the word of God prevail. The word is very, very powerful. The word of God in Hebrews 12, 14 is described as a sword, the sword of the spirit. In fact, the word of God is referred to as the sword of the spirit in Ephesians 6, 17. And you know that anytime, any day, he who has the war, the word, has power. And in the world, he who has the weapons of ammunition are powerful. In our nation, the issue of insecurity, kidnapping, and all seem to have been thriving because those people have superior weapons of arms. But by the grace of God, as our government continues to equip its own soldiers and to do the needful, all is well. But so long as whoever has the weapon has the weapon, they are powerful. But we are here to say here that while this is true for the world, it is even more true, 100% true, for the Holy Word of God. And we are saying here that last week we look at the fact that Matthew 24, 12, Matthew 24, 12, the Bible says that iniquity shall abound and the love of many shall wax cold. Why is it waxing cold? Because of the lack of knowledge of the word of God, the word of truth. So we are here saying that what everyone needs, leave the interpretation of the various men of God alone. One is saying, pay tight. One say, don't pay tight. One say this. One don't say that. Just leave it alone. Go to the word yourself. The Holy Spirit when we receive Christ Jesus as personal Lord and Savior, we receive the person of Christ. We receive God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit inside of us. The Godhead is inside of us. The only problem is we have not learned how to listen to God enough. We have not learned how to be silent, to allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us. Some time back, I noticed that if I was looking for something in the time past, I just said, ah, Holy Spirit, show me where this thing is. And the next place I will touch, I'll just see it. <laughs> but I just discovered that for like a month, if I said, where is this thing, where is this thing, I will search and search and search. But one day I said, but Holy Spirit, I asked, say, say, see. and the answer that I came back is, I'm too busy. In my busyness, in my busy schedule, in my in my activities, the voice is silent. Ah, <laughs> eh, wake up, call. I said, eh, is that so? And so I just calmed down. And the minute I calm down, I begin to hear. Now when I just, Holy Spirit, where is this thing? <laughs> I just go there, I'll just see it. But for like a month, it was difficult. He says, because my, my mind was in turbulence. I was not at peace. <laughs> and uh, laughing, <laughs> laughing, it, it, it was like in a state of confused.com. So if it is a state of confused.com, you can't hear. So I, I just, I will be sorry. I just pipe down, calm down. And uh, <laughs> if you're in the liberal world, they say count. Or um, in the outside world, say if you're angry, just calm down before you speak. I said, I just quietened myself, quieted myself. The Holy Spirit regained supremacy. And I can ask, Holy Spirit, where is this thing you just showed me? Oh, why is this thing? I'll just get the answer. So what am I trying to say? We need to withdraw. We need to go back to the Word. We need to spend time in the Word and stop all the debating. Let's leave it alone and go to the Lord in prayer. 
when you go to the Lord in prayer, when you want to read the Bible, say, Holy Spirit, please speak to me. He will speak to you. He's there speaking to you. And the word of God is dynamic. Give two, three people. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting eternal life. So you have preached the word. You begin to hear different, different things. Different things. When I say different things, different angles of looking at the word of God because of the inspiration and the illumination that is coming into the heart and the mind. So we are here saying that the different interpretation should not be something that should be of concern to you or to me. No. Let's allow God to do his work. Let's allow God to be the defender of his faith. Our own in contending for the faith, Jude 1, 3, is to state it as it is, as we are inspired, as we know it to be. Then if A says it is like this, B says it is like that, C says it's like that, leave it alone. Leave it alone. And let the Holy Spirit be the one that will talk, speak to the hearts of men, to convert them, to convince them, to change them. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. So we are saying here that Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Go back to the word. Go back to the word. The truth is that a lot of us now don't want to go to the world. We just want to listen to what people are saying. Ah, this powerful preacher. Hey, this number one preacher. Hey, this powerful preacher. And they want to just run with what they say. No. A son hears the master's, the father's voice for himself, for herself. You hear, you need to hear for yourself, not what somebody told you or what somebody is saying. Thank you so very much for streamlining with us. And here we are saying that lack of knowledge is a major factor of what is happening out there. While the various men of God are knowledgeable in their own rights, the followers and others may not. You go to the commentary section. I like reading the comments. You just be hearing a lot of comments. This one will come and defend his father and the Lord. This one will talk this one, that one talk this one, this one will talk that one. A lot of them speaks from lack of knowledge. We are here saying that all of it, you are knowledgeable, you don't, you are not knowledgeable, leave it alone. Let's all go back to the scriptures. Let's all go back and say, God, speak to me. Talk to me. And he will speak to you and he will talk to you more clearly. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Vasea, Born of Love Mistress International. It is a great honor and a great privilege for me to come your way with the word of truth, the unchanging word of God, the word that gives life, that gives hope, that gives strength, ever, ever, ever present truth that is unchanging. May the Lord bless his word in our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ask him to give you more time to spend in the word. Study the word. Know the word. If you are very busy, there was a time I was very busy. I, I used to use the audio Bible a lot. What do I do then? I downloaded the offline Bible and I keep playing. <laughs> and that way, the devil that didn't want me to read the Bible for a year, and I became a guru in the word. Because I won't leave playing that. For instance, if it's Ephesians, Colossians, Corinthians, any one I put, I'll just keep repeating and repeating and repeating it. And before you know it, you have read a whole chapter. You have finished a whole book. So we are saying, go for the word. Spend time in the word. Study the word. Thank you so very much for streamlining. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Ataken, General Vosea, Banner of Mrs. International. A great honor and a great privilege for me to speak to you. Thank you. All you need to do to be a part of this great move of God now is to spend time in the Word. The Word, the Word, the Word. And the starting point for the Word to make meaning to you, for you to begin to hear the voice of God like I was saying, is receiving the person of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To do that comes with a simple confession. All you need to do is to say, Lord Jesus, from a heart that is sincere and genuine, a heart that is ready to learn, a heart that is prepared to learn, a heart that is ready to be transformed, to be teachable, 
All you need to do is to say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Have mercy on me. Thank you so very much for some learning with us. God bless you.